Hi there, theorists. Neil here again. Good evening. It is March 11th, 2020, and I had someone leave me a question in the comments of one of my videos, so thank you. I appreciate that. I encourage anyone watching this video, if you have a question, please ask that. I love to respond to them. So the question was, how inside of Thinkorswim can you set your default orders? Perhaps they are a subscriber and they were following along and they caught how when I was doing a futures order, the order defaulted to 10 contracts. And I believe when you uh, first l launch Thinkorswim and with a new account, your order uh, sizes will be set to their defaults. So we're going to hop into the platform and uh, show you exactly how to do that. And see, I goofed up this whole time. I thought you were seeing me. Nope. <laughs> you were seeing my screen. Okay, I'm here. And we're going back here to my screen. So we can see here we've got our simulated trading account open and with all of our cherry bomb positions. Don't know what that is? Check out this playlist here. Consider joining the bomb squad. Nope, I don't get your email. No, it doesn't cost anything. It's just fun and the best way to learn to trade options. So join us. All right, with that said, we are inside of our tasty trade, not tasty trade. That's the cherry bombs that we do is from T Tasty Trade. We're inside Thinkorswim. We're going to go over to this setup icon over here near the minimize um, button. We're going to click setup and we're going to go to application settings. Now you might think that orders is where you want to go, but there is a horizontal set of tabs across the top here. We want to go to order defaults. And here, this is where you're going to choose your default orders. Now I am okay with this. The default order type being set to limit and whatnot. Uh, the default quantity of order for shares, I like to use 100 as well. Uh, I don't often buy just uh, uh, stocks, right? You know, you'll notice that we do options trading here in this channel. Options theory, <laughs> option theory, right? Okay, so you can leave set these to whatever you'd like. And I'm going to go over to options. Okay, I had set mine to the default quantity of orders to be one, and when I press the plus or minus to have it increment by one, that's my favorite. Uh, for futures, uh, I don't trade futures, but I did trade options on futures. And you'll notice here that my default quantity is set to 10. Uh, yeah, that's not what I want. I'd like to keep the whole tasty trade approach of trade small and trade often. So 10 is not small. Uh, for you know many people, one futures is not small option is not small either. But okay, you know, we're gonna this is options theory. This is paper money. This is our perfect opportunity to practice and test things out. So we're gonna set this to one, and all we have to do is hit apply settings. And that's it. So now if we were to go to put an order on, so let's pretend we were going to get bullish on crude oil here. So I'm going to click that, take a look at the charts, right? Say I want to put on a, uh, a trade for that one. You know, I want to analyze a trade. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, let's say I want to put on one of these uh, May options, right? If I go to click on any one of these, let's see, we're here. Let's go to... This is good here, sure. Wow, that is pretty wide bid ask. Let's go to this one, right? Now when I look at this window down here, which I'm gonna stretch that up, you'll see it's set to one, not 10. In one of my other videos, you can see that was a little too narrow, um, and it is one. All right, that's it. Just proven to you that it actually was uh, something that took effect. And I'll go back and I guess I'll close. Normally I open with my face <laughs> so you can see I'm a real person. I'll close. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed uh, getting that quick little tip. Um, ask questions and join us. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Mm -hmm.